What's up guys, it's Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar Talk. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Roll that intro. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at the brand new 2022 limited edition one of 250 Gibson slash four album edition Les Paul Standard. <laughs> Checking out the specs of the body as we normally do. It's a mahogany body with a bound AAA maple flame top. Nitro finish on this. You've got your three-way switch, two volumes, two tones, tunematic bridge, and then you've got custom wound to slashes specification burst bucker pickups. <laughs> Checking out the specs on the neck on this, we've got a mahogany neck, which is a 24.75 inch scale, 12 inch fretboard radius, which is an Indian rosewood fretboard. We've got 22 medium jumbo frets. You've got your block inlays on this and Gibson deluxe tuners. On the back, you've got the typical slash Scully logo and then a slash truss board cover there as well. So I know some of you will wonder what makes this special against other Slash Les Pauls and obviously it's a different colour to the normal Slash lineup but on top of that you get the new Slash 4 album on vinyl, you get a signed photograph that's not just signed by Slash, it's signed by all of the conspirators which in my opinion is a cool collector's piece as well. You get the 4 decal that you can put on the guitar, which I think it's a really cool thing they didn't put it on there for you because some people might not want it on there, but it's all part of the collector's package. You get a custom Gibson case with the four decal on there as well, along with all of the other bits that you get with it. So it is a whole collector's package, which in my opinion, just makes it a cool collector's item. In terms of the feel of this guitar, it's got the vintage 50s Gibson neck profile, which is a bit bigger than the 60s profile, which I normally prefer. It's a bit more rounded at the back. I've not got the world's biggest hands, which is why I normally prefer the 60s profile, but the 50s fits really snugly in the palm of my hand and makes it a really nice riffing guitar for me. Other than that, it's been set up really, really well. It plays perfectly. Obviously, the strings, as normal on a new guitar, need a bit more stretching in, but there's no nut issues or anything like that, and it's been set up really well. I know there's been some grumbling over the last five or six years about Gibson QA, but you can tell that these days they are really on the ball and some time and attention has gone into making sure that this guitar plays perfectly. In terms of finish straight out of the box, it's been finished really well. There's no rough patches. The, the fret ends have been done really nicely. The top's been polished nicely. There's nothing to complain about there in terms of how this has been finished straight out of the box. Mm-hmm. 
In terms of weight, as I've said before, I don't have scales here and I don't weigh guitars because every bit of wood weighs a different amount. So even if I weighed this and you got one, it would probably weigh a different amount anyway. But what I will say is this is a good solid Les Paul and it is not the lightest guitar in the world. It's quite reassuring in terms of weight. It's not back breakingly heavy, but it's certainly gonna be a little bit taxing on the shoulder, which for me is kind of what I want from a traditional style Les Paul. <laughs> The sounds that you can get out of this thing to me are pretty much straight up Les Paul classic tone. No coil taps or anything like that. And obviously it's got the custom wound Alnico 2 to slash his specification, burst buckers in there, rather than the Seymour Duncan slash set, which to me, I actually prefer these because I find the Seymour Duncans a little bit too bright to my ear. I don't know what the exact difference is between them, but to me, it's only a good thing that it's got these pickups in there. They are nice and dynamic, full of clout. They've got a nice top end to them without going over the top on brightness. They sit in a mix really, really well. They clean up when you roll the volume off. It's just classic Les Paul tone through and through. <laughs> Is the guitar worth the money? I mean, to me, I'm looking at it as a whole package, not just as only the guitar. And I honestly think the guitar is great in itself. Obviously, it's a different color to what you normally get the Slash Les Pauls in. But on top of that, the whole deal where you get the the vinyl and you get the signed photograph that's, you know, Slash isn't the only famous person in that photograph. You've got all of the great conspirators in there as well. Miles Kennedy, who's an amazing vocalist in his own right all that stuff and the fact there's only 250 of the whole package. If you keep the package in good condition and all that, I can only see this going up in value as the years go on. Is there anything that I don't like about the guitar? I mean, obviously I said I prefer a 60s neck profile, but I get on fine with the 50s as it is. If you are a 50s neck profile fan, that is great for you. Other than that, it is pretty much the ideal Les Paul setup for me. No coil taps or any of that nonsense on a Les Paul. I just want straight up classic traditional Les Paul. So is there anything I don't like? No, this is pretty much the ideal Deal Les Paul setup for me. I really think Gibson have nailed it with Slash and this whole Slash range of guitars that they do. So there we go, guys. That is the Gibson slash limited edition for album edition, one of 250 2022 Les Paul standard guitar. <sighs> there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you digging the whole slash package, the whole limited edition run of it all? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you live in the UK, hopefully sometime over the next week, this will go up on guitargeargiveaway.co.uk where you can win this guitar and the whole package. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.